Hey everyone, this is Kaisif and welcome back. And here we are, after an extremely long period of time, with a very simple redstone contraption. This is a dirt to mud converter. So I just showcased this on my survival series. So if you haven't checked that out already, please go ahead and uh, give that a look. It's a very simple series on YouTube Shorts. But yeah, we're just going to go through this machine. So this is a very simple machine. It's semi-automatic, isn't the fastest in the world, but it's extremely cheap to build and it just saves you a lot of time with um, having to stand and convert dirt to mud yourself. But this is how you use it. Just make sure that your entire inventory is filled up. Uh, one slot for your mud, dirt in your offhand, and you just place it, wait for the block to be converted to mud, mine it, and wait for some of the dispensers to go off and place it down again and just keep on doing it. You just got to make sure that you give enough time in between each run to make sure that things get reset. So as you can see, very, very simple design. And essentially what's happening here is that once you place it, an observer detects it, um, sets off this dispenser to dispense the water bottle. Uh, the water bottle goes into the block, updating the observer again, upon which the empty water bottle is dispensed out, pushed out of the way into this hopper, and it comes into this dispenser. Uh, the next time that you break the block, this dispenser gets activated again, replacing it with a water bottle. The next time that you place the next block, um, it gets dispensed out into this block, rises up, gets pushed out of the way into this hopper and goes here. And this dropper is activated every so often. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So let's actually get down to how to build this. All right, so in order to build this uh, farm, all you need are these materials. Extremely simple, just pause and take a note of it. And yeah. All right, so first up, you want to start off with a dispenser pointing in whichever direction you want to do. Um, Place a block down here. This is where you're going to be placing your mud. So your dirt. Uh, come off of this side. And then you want to place your other dispenser here. With a hopper running into it. Next up, place your grate over here. A water bucket. Grab some blocks to just go all over the side. So that you can force the block up. Next up over here, you want a dropper. Pointing upwards, just right next to that. And two hoppers, one pointing into the dropper and one pointing back into the dispenser. Now, off the block that you are meant to be placing uh, your dirt at, place an observer looking right into it. A block. A note block below that and an observer looking into that note block so that this chain happens. Next up. In order to power the dispenser dispensing the water bottles, you just want to place two blocks here and a small piece of redstone. Now, in order to activate the rest of the system, we have this over here. This is why you just place a block here and a piece of redstone dust. And that's your entire circuitry done. Just to finish it off, place a water bottle in this dispenser and one water bottle in this dispenser. Except, it's probably a good practice to cover up the system as so, or accidentally set it off. Um, you want to cover the system like this. You want to go up one block and place a slab over here. This prevents you from converting the dirt into a path block. And finally, place a spruce trap door over here so that you can go right up against that. And this spruce trap door makes sure that the mud stays in this region and doesn't get shot out. Either way, I would suggest that you build some kind of enclosure covering up all escape routes for the block so that you can sit over here and um, go about your business calmly. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. This has been Skyser and I'm Hansu Chaffner. I should see you in the next video, whenever that is.